Hey friends, welcome back to my channel, NBC Lifestyles Diary. I love traveling, I love cooking and entertaining, I love fashion and cultural events, and I'm asking you to join me on the adventure. Today we're reminiscing about Frankfurt, Germany. My son lived there with his wife and family for six years, and we used to go quite often. Frankfurt became a second home to us. It's a small city, it's a hub in Germany where all the connecting flights go to, and it's also the financial center. Frankfurt, a central German city on the River Main, is a major financial hub that's home to the European Central Bank. It's the birthplace of famed writer Johann Wolfgang von Gogh, whose former home is now the Gogh House Museum. Like much of the city, it was damaged during World War II and later rebuilt. So even the old town is really replicas of, of former buildings and neighborhoods that were there. We did the touristy things initially. We took a ride on the river. We went to the tallest skyscraper and had an overview of the city. We went to the Frankfurt Zoo. Frankfurt has several museums and we saw some interesting exhibits. We saw a traveling exhibit of uh, Walt Disney, um, the cartoons, the original cartoon plates and the illustrators that worked on it. We got a history of that. We saw an exhibit with uh, Degas, the ballet dancer and his contemporaries. We also uh, went to um, a museum in Frankfurt that I cannot pronounce. I think it's Angwat Kunst Museum. I just butchered that. But the exhibit was Life Doesn't Frighten Me. Michelle Ellie Wears Comme des Garçons. It was comp so fascinating. It was interesting that I went to Frankfurt to discover a Haitian woman who was also a jewelry designer and a collector of Comme des Garçons. Uh, she was a creative woman and she's known for, for wearing Comme des Garçons couture from runway to streetwear. She currently has an Instagram. Here we are looking at the zoo and the greenery reminds me that Frankfurt has beautiful parks because nature is very important to the German people. So the city has parks everywhere. Uh, another interesting thing is that the parks have toys for the kids to play, not just swings and jungle gyms and things like that, but literally there are shovels and pails and uh, trucks if they want to play in the sandbox. And also the big fountains of the city are also places that the kids go to run and splash in during the summer. Um, I also enjoyed the German cuisine of meat and potatoes. Um, it, food was quite reasonable there for shopping and for dining out. So on our long walks of exploring the city and going to the different markets and fairs, um, we found our favorite restaurants. So here's the city skyline. This is where we were on the boat. And it was really an enjoyable city. I also love that drink called the Hugo. Um, as you can see, the plates of food were plentiful. We went to the Zile, which is their large outdoor shopping mall. I discovered Primark in Germany. Uh, that's kind of a joke. Um, and we partook of everything that life on the river has to offer. Here's that wonderful exhibit that I described. And what I loved about this uh, exhibit was the mannequins were made in the image of Michelle Ellie. So a black woman wearing her clothes, a Haitian American woman. I discovered her in Germany. Fascinating life and she's quite an inspiration. Not just because of her collection, but just because of her view in life and you see how nationality and a common thread um, and philosophy uh, binds us. Here I am doing the Haitian thing, sorry, the German thing of soaking up the sun. I didn't 
fully understand why they did that until I spent a winter in Germany and realized that the sun is gone by 10 a.m. and it's gray and overcast. Here's the Rodin exhibit uh, that we went to. You'll see a lot of pictures of me at restaurants. Um, it was a good time. I got a broader view of the world. If you enjoyed this episode, please give me a thumbs up, like, subscribe, and follow.